Rental. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, friends. My name is Mimdo Vitri Bakan. My name is Trinity Chidia Sowa. My name is Asaf Pinda Ibrahim. My name is Zikara Akune Evans. My name is Ethan Prince Solomon. My name is Mohamed Diso. My name is Kelen Achukulimba. My name is Ada Penet Akuku. My name is Ota Pekuya. We are members of a class with a difference, a class filled of stars and leaders of tomorrow. I'm talking about year four. We are standing before you today to give a presentation. Please listen attentively, because you've got a lot to learn. My name is Kamdi Nwenke Rachel. We are so excited to let you know that this term, we have learned a lot, and we are ready to share some of these experiences with you. For instance, in history, we've learned about great explorers like Christopher Columbus, Amerigo Vespucci, Ibn Battuta, Vasco da Gama, Bartolome Diaz, Mungo Park, Landa Brothers, and Henry the Navigator. And in science, we learned about forces and friction. Time won't permit us to give you interesting facts about all these lessons learned. However, we are here to educate you on one of the most important needs for men, which has formed most of the lessons learned in geography. Can you guess? Yes. Food is one of the most important needs of man. Who doesn't like food? In geography, we, we learn about agriculture as the growing of crops and rearing of animals over and seals. From agriculture, we study how the food we eat get produced. We ask another question again. Is there any food that is not gotten from plants or animals? I don't like it when a teacher asks us to do a debate on the topic, daughters are better than farmers. Although, I like to be a doctor, but I'd rather get a balanced diet, but then I wouldn't need to see a doctor. Wow. <laughs> Aside foods like beans, egg, rice, chicken, milk, meat, fish, bread, Indian meals and spaghetti, and so on, agriculture is very important in our everyday life for the production of clothes, papers, chemicals, shoes, furniture, building materials, and name it. Almost every aspect of our lives has something to do with agriculture. I think I would like to be a farmer aside being a doctor. There are two types of agriculture, commercial and subsistence agriculture. Subsistence agriculture is a type of agriculture in which a farmer grows crops and raises animals for himself and his family alone. Commercial agriculture is a type of agriculture in which a farmer goes crops and raise animals to get to sell to him more money. Wow, I think I like this. At least I can eat for my products and save a large portion of it for money. There are different aspects of agriculture for a farmer to decide to specialize in. Pastoral farming is one interesting area in which a farmer raise animals for their meat, skin, and milk. Dairy farming makes it possible to produce things like butter, cheese, ice cream, yogurt, and condensed milk. I love eating catfish. I love eating fish. Point and kill catfish on my mind. Mmm, yummy. This can't be possible without this can't be possible without aquaculture, which con, which involves the production of fish and other aquatic animals. Thank you. Who loves to eat chicken or turkey? A poultry farmer is good at ensuring that we get to eat fried eggs, noodles, fried chicken, and other dishes like lemon chicken, butter chicken, chicken tiki masala, and pikata. Food from the food we eat can be classified as tubers, cereals, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. Tubers include yam and potatoes. Cereals include millet and rice. Legumes include beans and soya beans. Fruits include oranges and apples. And vegetables include cabbages and broccoli. Thank you. A farmer can 
and decide to practice the different farming system. One of them is monocropping. This is the planting only one type of crop on a farm. For instance, a farmer plants only beans and that's all. Another type of farming system is monocrop, mixed cropping. This is the planting different crops on the same farm. For instance, a farmer practicing mixed cropping may decide to plant maize, beans and granite on the same piece of land and at the same time. A farmer can also decide to practice crop rotation in the hands of planting different crops at different years. He may also decide to plant maize this year, beans next year, granite next three years time and rice in another year time. A farmer may choose to plant crops on a farmland for a few years, then leaves it and moves to another land, intention of returning after some time. When the farmland has regained his lost nutrients, this is called bush following. If the farmer doesn't return to the previous farmland, then it, then he is practicing cheating cultivation. I hope you've learned a lot from this presentation, and I've seen the importance of agriculture. Thank you. Yeah.